Yeah. You dream was God's story. Because they like, yeah, no, actually, you don't, you don't have to so tell. So you came together and came. What's my idea? Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm saying that. Okay. Shh. No, stop. Push the uh, play button. button. <laughs> it's going right now. Oh. oh. She just got to hold that on tape. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please don't. Hi, my name is once again, excuse me. just pretty much raised all of the funding we need to build the house, so that's $324,000. And um, throughout the past seven years, they have constantly been raising money to run programs like the Homework Club and other things. So we've had over $400,000 come in based on their grant writing and their fundraising and all that stuff so that we can run our programs and get the house built. Sometimes can't open the door, we've got to wait. It's an old house. Yes. It's really an old house. You gotta work with me, please. There we go. Okay. Welcome to the YouTuber house. The students that were initially the first nine were the ones that got us written into a federal bill by Senator Mikulski, which was a really great sort of lesson in social studies about how a bill becomes a law. Um, so that was fantastic. And then throughout the years, they do the grant writing, so they learn how to find a foundation and how to match what the foundation funds with what we're doing, how to write the grant so that it matches what they need it to do. Um, it's so inspiring. Um, I work with different students every year and some of the same who come back and I just am constantly amazed at the determination and they'll take on pretty much any task and um, the sense of family we've created with not just the students but the people who've supported us for years and our board of directors and there are these wonderful relationships that exist that um, and the relationships that we have with the kids and homework club that keep coming back um, it's just super inspiring to me and it just I mean the ideas that come out of the youth that you know the adults would never think of are just it just keeps you going like their energy sort of fuels my energy and it's a really nice cycle. When you go inside it's like going to be a homework place for our homework club, place where we have meetings, a place where like a group has meetings, a group of youth and like we have a we have sections in there like this is going to be so and so as in which homework club room, snack room and all this other stuff. So I mean that's all I can I can put toward this plan. Um, we do have through the state, through the Department of Housing and Community Development, we have a $75,000 grant, which is fantastic. I mean, that's a huge part of why we're able to do this. Um, and, you know, we've been, the, the involvement with the city has mostly been going through our zoning appeal and getting our building permit and those things, um, more so than actually transforming the house. Um, that's been mostly the Senator Mikulski funding, the Department of Housing and Community Development, um, T. Rowe Price, Adelius Thomas, some some big names that have sort of put that money in. Yeah, it is going to be fast. The beautiful view of Baltimore City. And we're going to hang out with Mosaic and stuff like that. And yes, of course, the beautiful view. Basically, what we do in the homework club is kids from next door to the stadium school, that's Addison Elementary. And we help them um, with their homework when they come over and enrichment from what they learned that day. And that's it about the uh, homework club. There's a lot of goals, but to sort of change that perception that a lot of Baltimore City um, people have about youth, and you just hear on the news a lot of the negatives and you don't hear the positives. Like last school year and earlier this school year, um, like a group of boys would come up here and like destroy the school and, and Police have to be up here, and and now since we like do stuff like another project class, the landscaping, um, they they go outside and like do little flower beds and stuff. And since then the boys don't be up here. Some of the boys they just don't care. They destroy everything. They had the had the, had the you know the hoop around the hoop, the little thing that you yeah, and the, the little <laughs> thing right there. They just break it and stuff. That's not nice. Not good, but we do help out what we do. We donate. We know we don't donate. We get people to donate. But ever since the police and all the other 
crazy stuff that came up here. Mm -hmm. They ain't been up here because I think they in jail. So hopefully when we're in the center and we're up and running, they're going to see the teenagers who are employed there, helping other children, being positive role models. All those things are really important. And we're doing them now, just we can't be seen by the community as much because we're doing them in the school. Yeah, it definitely seems like that the more we go along, the more people say, hey, those are those kids from that cool school, the stadium school, you know, those are the youth dreamers, they're good. Even though sometimes people may not recognize us or you know, some people who may not support us as much, but we definitely are doing a good thing and it shows in our community that they know who we are and they know that we're good. Where this will be several computers around like 10 or 7 and Couple people computers can, it's going to be for the community actually. To come in and work. In. Just work, mm -hmm. gossip, what, all nice. my space if you can. Everybody does not That's going to be fine now. It's going to be for the community everybody members so they come and do their, their work. Because you know, not everybody in this community, they're old, they're older, and they don't know how to work computers. So we're going to teach them. Is there any specific date that they are not sure Technically, March of 2009, and that changes quite frequently because the students are, are really involved in sort of learning about the phases and working with our pro bono general contractor, Mr. Andy, who's also on our board. So he sort of teaches them, and so everybody needs to know what's happening. Okay. <laughs> and this is the office phase. This is going to be my office, actually. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's going to be it's the office no, phase. No, it's going to be the office phase for me for my, my newsletter because I'll be a lying. journalist. She's lying. I'm not lying. We just because of the time she made. Okay, ask Miss Christina. Ask Miss Christina. So there's a lot of that going into it, and there's also places in the uh, schedule where we want to include volunteers. So it, it's taking a lot longer than it would if we just said, Mr. Andy, go get the subcontractors, because the students are involved in hiring them and meeting them at the house and those things. It does take longer, but to me, that's one of the most important parts of it, is that the kids and the board, everybody sort of knows what's happening, when it's happening, what it's costing, and all those things, so we're all on the same page.